Happy Friday, everyone. Scattered rain and snow showers today, then dry tonight, but more rain and snow coming back for Saturday through Sunday. So let's get to all the details in your weekend forecast sponsored by Nipsco. Completely dry out there for the Friday morning commute. Lots of clouds with no precipitation coming down just yet. But beginning around 10 a.m. this morning, I expect some isolated snow showers to start moving into the region. And I do think it's going to be snow at first because look at temperatures at 10 a.m. We're talking about low to mid 20s, but today we're going to get a warm front to lift over us and right behind it, a cold front. So our temperatures are going to be rising and eventually we're going to probably see a little bit of rain mixing in uh, with this snow. But at 10 a.m. when it, the activity starts, I do think it's going to be isolated snow showers with our temperatures in the low to mid 20s. But let's keep an eye on these temperatures as we jump ahead now to one o'clock. I do think the peak of the activity today is going to be early mid afternoon. Uh, that's where we're going to be in the scattered snow and rain showers. Now, early afternoon, one o'clock, if with our temperatures still low 30s, upper 20s, probably still scattered light to moderate snow showers. But at the end of this scattered activity, once we get into that three, four o'clock range, notice the pink and green showing up, indicating a rain-snow mix. So I do need to mention the possibility as our temperatures climb into the mid 30s, that's what we're looking at for highs today, uh, the possibility of it changing over to rain. Uh, and I do think the activity will be starting to, will be past the peak as we get into that four or five o'clock window. So I'm probably going to see the activity most widespread across the region, probably early afternoon, one, two, uh, three o'clock. Now, I do have to mention this afternoon, uh, particularly around two, three, four o'clock, that's when we're going to have the strongest winds. I do think there's going to be a brief window. We're talking about it being very windy with gusts around 40 miles per hour because it was the warm front lifting over us in the early afternoon. But as we get into this three, four o'clock time frame, then the cold front is going to be coming in. So that's why our temperatures are going to stop warming in the mid thirties. That's as warm as it's going to get. Notice by the time we get to seven o'clock this evening, though, it is good news for Friday night plans. I think we are done with precipitation. So it's all going to come to an end during the late afternoon. We should be dry by seven o'clock this evening. And then it's a dry Friday night. But look for temperatures to get colder and colder as the night goes on. And we're looking at lows tonight in the upper teens to low 20s. And I mentioned it being so windy during the afternoon. Well, it's going to take a while for the winds to die down. So particularly during the evening hours tonight, if you're going to be venturing out, it is still going to be breezy. Of course, our temperatures will be warmer. These are our low temperatures very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And by then it should just be a, a light breeze. Um, but if you're worried about these temperatures, if they discourage you a little bit, I really have to stress if you want to go out. If you're trying to make a decision between going out Friday night or Saturday night, you're going to want to go out tonight because, uh, well, let me show you. <laughs> There's a good reason why Saturday night looking like a good night uh, to stay in. Now, we're starting at 9 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning and it's completely dry, just like tonight. I still think the morning hours tomorrow are going to be dry, but notice it's still pretty cloudy. I do think we could start to see a few flurries of snow beginning around noon tomorrow but i gotta say it looks like the afternoon not much is going to be going on for us here's noon here's three o'clock isolated snow showers so nothing big uh, going on uh, now notice uh, tomorrow already a little bit cooler than the day we're talking about highs tomorrow mainly in the upper 20s low 30s uh, not as much wind though tomorrow we're just looking at a light breeze gusts around 15 miles per hour so not a windy day uh, like today is going to be so that's good then at least there won't be much of a wind chill factor what i want to highlight is though there's not going to be much going on during the afternoon six o'clock i think that's going to be the key time period because i think after six o'clock the rain and snow is going to be really filling in and right now it looks like a peak in the activity around nine o'clock or so so again seven eight nine o'clock looking pretty wet across the region with yes rain there could be a little bit a little bit of freezing rain sleet that's what's indicated by that shade of purple and snow and this is this is the greatest uncertainty in the forecast because where exactly does this rain snow line set up the models are still uh, kind of messy about exactly where it's going to settle up. So that's going to have a big impact on our snow totals. Eventually, we're going to all change over to snow. But how long is that going to take? How much rain is going to be mixing in Saturday evening? Regardless, we know there's going to be precipitation coming down. So that's why I'm telling you 
it's a night, the better night to go out than Saturday night because there's going to be rain, there's going to be snow, maybe a little bit of sleep, a little bit of freezing rain. I'll give you another update as the models get better agreement on exactly where the, the rain snow line is going to set up and also how quickly we will change over to snow. But it does look like a peak in the precipitation during the evening hours. Notice by midnight tomorrow night, backing off. It looks like just scattered light snow showers. And notice at this point, temperatures have come down. This is another cold front working over us. So now it's all snow across the region, but past the peak of the activity. So now we're going to jump ahead to Sunday morning. And again, we'll probably see scattered activity transition to isolated snow showers. And by Sunday morning, it looks like by 8 a.m., we're just going to be dealing with some spotty flurries in the region. The problem is it does look like we're going to see flurries here or there throughout the day on Sunday. Uh, I've got to keep a chance through the morning and at least through the early afternoon as it stands right now. Notice it's still going to be a little bit colder still on Sunday, <laughs> just a couple of degrees cooler. But notice there could be some that only top out in the mid-20s and I think it's going to be tough to even reach 30 degrees in the region. Um, and the winds are going to be a little bit stronger, going to be breezy again. So even though it's not going to be much colder than Saturday, uh, I definitely think it's going to be fueling colder because that wind chill factor coming back with gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. Right now, it looks like the flurries will come to an end by 5 o'clock Sunday afternoon. So not much going on during the day Sunday, just a few straight flurries. So the key time period that we're really watching is, of course, that that Saturday afternoon, though not much, but particularly Saturday evening. And I gotta tell you, I'm gonna show you the snow total map right now, and it's messy. I've got to say, there are some models that are really aggressive on the rain and not much snow, and that's why there are some models saying as little as a dusting for places like Rensselaer, Kentland, even, even Valparaiso. There's one model that says just a dusting for Valparaiso. I think that's a little bit less likely. We do expect more snow to the north and less to the south. It's just exactly where does that rain snow line set up. But we will likely see the highest snow totals, whatever they are, in the northern part of the region. In fact, even those models that only have a dusting of Valparaiso, say Hammond, Michigan City, are going to get an inch. Uh, and the models right now saying as much as two inches for places like Gary, Hammond, Michigan City. Um, you know, I'll say in general, if you look at the, the model average at all the different variations, I, I think when it's all said and done, the most common snowfall total that we're going to end up seeing in the region is probably around an inch. But are we going to lean more to that, to the, to that half inch zone? Or are we going to lean more to the two inch? The model average right now is around an inch. But I tell you what, it's real messy. And then look how tight that snowfall gradient. You go up to the north and west, and we're talking about two to three inches in Chicago, four to five inches in Aurora. So if temperatures just get a couple degrees colder, we could start to get into that two to three inch zone in the region. So bottom line, still a lot of uncertainty, though. The most likely amount in the region right now is around an inch, things could definitely change. Look for another update tomorrow morning.